This is for your own good, Mr. Hobbit. I'm trying to get you away from them. I'm trying to keep you safe. Safe from the people. Oh, that's a problem. That's a landed on you, go. <laughs> Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. My name is Crow, and today we have a brand new video for you called The Past of Ricky by Boyder01. We're going to learn about the history of Ricky the Ninja. Ricky has had enough of not being able to be the greatest ninja in town. He believes that Larry has something to do with his lack of skill. Ricky has brought some friends, so Ricky the Ninja is definitely giving me a Naruto vibe. He wants to be the very best, like no one ever was. He wants to be the number one Hokage, and he thinks that Larry is standing between him and his goal. I mean, we all know that Larry is no ninja. He's no, he's not able to jump, he's not able to climb, he's not able to fight. He just throws potions that he thinks heals things, but turns them into zombies or raptors or other things. And Helga is his trustful companion, also not a ninja. So why does Ricky have something to do with them? So have some, some mission against them? I have no idea, but Ricky is pissed at Larry as hell because fireworks are into oblivion. Ricky the ninja gonna throw, oh, oh, Larry gets the potion first. Good job, Larry. Uh-oh, firework archer, awkward firework archer, making Larry thrash about. Larry just got exploded into the sky. Harry and Barry decided to help Larry in his fight with Ricky. Ricky has brought some more friends though. So now we have two of Larry's brothers, Harry and Barry. But don't worry, he didn't bring Terry, Derry, Very, Sari, or Mary, or Fairy, or Carrie, and especially not Zary. So apparently Larry didn't learn his lesson the first time and Ricky is still determined to end the life of these potion sellers. And the ninjas were deflecting the potions beautifully. <laughs> Poor Ricky is completely drunk on power or, or drunk on Larry's potions as he's stuck in a bush. Oh, oh, that's an awkward, uh, uh, awkward, awkward. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Sorry, Larry. Larry decided he wanted to go and see if King Philip was in a good mood to help him, but rogue Vikings ambushed him. Crow must save Larry. So here we are with rogue Vikings. Excuse me, Bjorn is not gonna be happy about your rogue behavior. You wait until Helga gets a hold of you. Oh boy, she will headbutt you into next Tuesday. So now Larry's got a little bit of a problem as these guys are here to beat him up. And I wanna try something. What if I try to heal Larry through the fight? Let's see if Larry can defend himself from these lovely- Oh my- didn't even get a chance to heal him. So healing wasn't gonna work. What if we just let Larry, you know, take his shots? Oh, the berserkers are still fighting. We'll fly through the sky. Are you kidding me? Hold on, we gotta blow them away. Let me try and blow these guys away from Larry. No, nope, that didn't work. The wind may have killed Larry or maybe this lovely uh, Viking killed Larry instead. Fine, fine, fine. I wanted Larry to do the fight on his own. I wanted to like boost his confidence, you know, build him up a little bit, but it seems like Artemis arrows are gonna have to take care. Oh my goodness, that wasn't enough. How much damage does Artemis arrows not do? Okay, fine. Have an entire cube. Oh yeah, have some more too. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, this Viking is still alive, being bathed in the orange glow of Artemis's arrows and green pukiness of potions. He's still alive, and that Viking's still alive. Wow, Artemis's arrows are not all they're cracked up to be. Oh God, oh no, this Viking's in on Larry. Gotta kill the Viking. Defeat it again? What joke is this? The power of Odin compels you. The power of Odin compels you. The power of Odin compels you. There, finally. King Philip agreed, but Larry had to take down squires to get King Philip's help. Now explain to me why King Philip would say yes, and then say no, you must defeat my squires. Yes, I will help you, but first you must defeat three of my best men. Now, Larry might be able to do this. Will you help him? You know what, Larry? It's all you, buddy. It's all you, buddy. Just throw your potions into this menage a trois. You can do it, come on. That's right, Larry, get those potions. After Larry defeated the squires, King Philip decided to help him, but his own men decided to assassinate him after him being really mean to them. Ladies and gentlemen, the squires and archers of King Philip himself are throwing a coup d'etat, are usurping their king and Larry. And now King Philip, oh, oh, King Philip took like 13 arrows into the gut. That's not cool. Larry makes a deal with Bjorn to help him get back at Ricky. So here we are. You can see Larry talking to Bjorn, his father-in-law married to Helga. 
And Bjorn, being Bjorn, is always inclined to help Larry because he wants to help his daughter, even though Bjorn's not particularly thrilled with Larry marrying his daughter, but ultimately it's his daughter's choice. The question is, what's happening on this fight? Who's who's alive? Where's is Ricky here? Is is oh oh somebody just fell to their death. That's awkward. Ricky challenges the Monkey King and tries to defeat him. Crow must step in and stop Ricky's rise. So the Monkey King is here with three of his mugs and Ricky has brought a whole bunch of samurai and a whole bunch of ninjas. So Ricky is trying to take over the dynasty uh, Monkey King. You, <laughs> what happened to your eyes? What is the best way to help the monkey king here against Ricky's armies. Oh, monkey king, oh, monkey king, I'm throwing fireballs over you. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. Don't ask questions. Just accept the fact that there's a pile of fireballs over top of the monkey king about to wipe out this army. Oh, yes. Here we go in three, two, one. Slow motion activate. Oh, that was in slow motion. <laughs> Oh, I love this fireball ability. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is that is that is that none other than me, Mr. Ricky, over there? Hey, 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 what are you doing? What's that? You want to go into the sky? You want to go for a ride? Of course you do. You're excited to go spinning. Oh, there's a little Hawacha or two there. There's a dragon there. Our monks are moving in. The monkey king is moving in. I think our lovely dynasty army will have no problem dealing with what's happening here, especially after we wiped out the majority of them with giant fireballs the monkey king is victorious over here on this section just a handful of ninjas getting bombarded by exploding fireworks over here in this end a couple more fireworks making them spin right round baby right, right. Where this, where, where'd he go hey where, oh you're in the water sorry that that'll do it that'll finish it most of the crew excluding philip who died but hasn't because crow brought him back as always has gathered to talk about how ricky is rising too far and must be eliminated so we've got the crew here you've got larry and helga the pair and then you have mr bjorn himself who has lost some weight you are looking thin mr bjorn what did you do to lose so much weight saving the scarecrow being awesome as always the pirate queen kira looking kind of like a giraffe hugo the boss and mr death himself and they're here to convene and talk about their plans and they have a sacrificial hobbit why would you have a sacrificial hobbit what did this little guy do to any of you i'm sorry hobbit this must be you know what i'm gonna do it myself okay i i'll do it myself this is for your own good mr hobbit i'm trying to get you away from them i'm trying to keep you safe safe from the people oh that's a problem that's a landed on you, go. <laughs> the crew is getting closer to Ricky's hideout. So here we are, Mr. Death himself. The full crew is here. Oh, almost the whole crew. We're missing Hugo. What happened to Hugo? Did he get lost at the ice giant place? And we seem to have a small contingent of ninjas and related. Oh, the Reaper. <laughs> Reaper tentacles versus archers is unfair. Mr. Death himself is just a, a menace. A menace of a hold as Larry throws potions and um, Pirate Queen Kira with the leap into the sky to deal the final blow. Jeez, Pirate Queen. Some of her friends managed to catch up. You know, King Philip, not much of a friend though. Captain Kyle was helping as well. Mr. Death managed to get some of his friends here as well. This is the end for Kyle or is it? Crow may need to step in here so we have what looks like king philip and larry and sammy the uh scarecrow over there then we've got captain kyle and kira the pirate queen mr death himself is here and apparently we may need to step in so i'm gonna go to the back we have a whole boatload of fire archers i know and you know how dead these fire archers are on this particular map and these who watches might be a little bit unfair let's even the fight a little bit by the power of odin i freeze thee and i use balloons to lift the watches into the sky because <laughs> i mean like that now we have a fair fight here on the battlefield archers firing kira and death i like how kira and death and almost everyone's on the right side and there's only a handful of people on the left side mr sammy the uh scarecrow is uh, trying to get involved in the fight but not having a whole lot of luck. Oh, Mr. Death is leading the charge. The front line, huge swings from Mr. Death. My goodness, the amount of death is insane. The amount of death from Mr. Death, because death is coming. And that's the end of Ricky the Ninja.